So a friend or a family member of yours has approached you about joining a network marketing company. Now, what do you do? Hey, welcome to the pantry. Today we're talking about network marketing companies. Now I don't have a vested interest in a network marketing company. I am not an associate affiliated with any of these companies, but I do purchase products from these companies. Uh, what my vested interest is, is making sure that you are spending your time and your talents in the right place. So if someone has approached you about joining a network marketing company and it looks like a good opportunity, fantastic. But let's go through some of the things that may make this a great opportunity for you or perhaps have you thinking twice if this is the right career choice for you. Perhaps you've seen John Oliver's YouTube video on network marketing. Um, John Oliver is a comedian and his view of network marketing um, isn't exactly favorable. If you're currently an associate with a network marketing company, I still encourage you to take a look at this video. Uh, it's important to hear um, perhaps some of the misconceptions that he is putting out there so that you can address them with people that ask you about the video and about network marketing. And for those of you who are thinking about going into network marketing, um, still take a look at the video, but please take it at face value. I think there are a lot of misconceptions on the video and, um, and I'm going to provide you with a few better resources, um, more informed resources for you to check out before you make that final decision. So, so the video can be found up here in the corner. Um, curious to hear what you thought of the video, um, but it is just that. It is just one person's opinion of network marketing. So what exactly is network marketing or multi-level marketing? Well, as the name suggests, network means you're selling through your network of people, family members, colleagues, peers, your mailman to sell a product or service. I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions on John Oliver's video is he refers to network marketing as a pyramid scheme. And a pyramid scheme doesn't have a goods or service attached to uh, to the exchange. Whereas in network level marketing or multi-level marketing, you're exchanging goods and services. You're buying makeup, you're buying jewelry, you're purchasing vitamins and minerals, or you um, are buying essential oils. There's so many network marketing companies out there and the ones that are reputable have a product or service attached to it. Now, if you're wondering if the company you're thinking of joining is one of these reputable firms, I encourage you to check out the Direct Selling Association. That's the association for these network marketing companies. And your association hopefully is a member. If they're not a member of the DSA, um, I would look into it a little bit further before committing. Uh, the DSA has a lot of uh, rules in place and there is a one year probation period to make sure you are not a pyramid scheme. Um, and that you are indeed a network marketing company. So your friend has probably told you a lot about the benefits of joining a company and they're probably all very true. I'm gonna highlight a few of them or at least the ones that I think are um, the biggest benefits. Uh, and then of course you need to decide for yourself what benefits best resonate with you and where you are in uh, your life and in your family. Uh, but number one, the biggest benefit in my opinion uh, is the flexibility of being able to work from home and work on your own terms. This makes multi-level marketing a great fit for moms who um, aren't ready to jump back into the workforce after having their kids. They want to spend more time with their children. Uh, it's also a great fit for people who are of retirement age and perhaps still want to engage in the community and uh, keep active with something that's going to bring in a little bit of income, um, but certainly not a full-time job that requires them commuting to and from an office. Now, there are a number of different other kinds of people that love this benefit, um, certainly not just moms and grandmothers, uh, but those are the two largest groups that uh, can really resonate with um, the flexibility and working from home uh, that network marketing provides. The second biggest benefit is the earning potential. There really is no cap on how much money you can earn um, with a network marketing company. Your first year in the business is not going to look robust. You're not going to make a ton, a ton of money, but as your business grows and as your team grows, you have the potential to make more money. 
as the name suggests, the multi-level marketing means you do, you have the ability to earn commissions on what your team members also make. So as your business grows and as your team grows, so does your earning potential. Benefit number three is hard work and learning. And I know you might be surprised by that, how hard work can be seen as a benefit. Uh, but what network marketing companies do is they tend to push people out of their comfort zone and allow them to build skills in areas that they've probably never even built before. Um, so I love that about this model is it is growing people, um, growing women in a way that they may never have grown before and pushing them to realize things about their own strengths and talents um, that they might not have realized uh, in a traditional job setting. So that's what I really do love about network marketing. Um, but you got to be ready for it. If you are not someone who's comfortable doing things outside your comfort zone, this might not be the choice for you. Benefit number four is mentoring. I'm a huge proponent of mentoring and collaborating with colleagues and network marketing companies do this really well. They, they have team members in place. They have uplines in place. There's always someone you can talk to and always someone you can learn from. Um, now there is a flip side to this coin that I'll talk about a little bit later, but mentoring and collaboration um, is huge with these companies and, and you won't be able to do this all by yourself and you don't have to. There's always going to be a support system there uh, ready to help. So those are some of the benefits and there's certainly others that I outline further in my blog post on this subject, uh, but we're still left with the big question. Is this the right opportunity for you? Um, and I challenge you to weigh that question with one word and that is passion. Do you have a passion for the product that you're looking to sell? Um, make sure that you do. I think that's going to be uh, your biggest success or failure indicator is how much you actually love the product that you're going to start selling to your network. If you don't love the product, if you don't use the product, if you get bored of this product, uh, your business is going to tire very quickly and I don't want you to pour all your time and talent into this venture um, if you're not passionate about the product itself. You may also be concerned about uh, some of the things that come along with network marketing, perhaps some skill sets that you don't currently have um, that do concern you. I want to address some of those. Um, some people think joining a company like this requires you to be a salesperson. I assure you, it does not. Um, you do not need to have a sales background to jump into network marketing. You are going to learn those skills and hopefully become comfortable with sales over time, uh, but certainly isn't something you need to right now. When I started with my company 10 years ago, and keep in mind we're not a network marketing company, uh, but it did require that I build some business development and some sales acumen, and that is something that I had never done. Not only did it push me out of my comfort zone to learn those skills, um, but I surprised myself and found out that I was actually pretty good at it. So I enjoy that the most now about my job, the business development, the strategizing, uh, things I wasn't able to do in my career before I joined uh, my company now. And now I love the sales process. Secondly, you don't have to be great at social media. But again, it will uh, push you to learn those skills and uh, selling through social media nowadays um, is a lot easier than going door to door and planning parties for your neighborhood friends. Uh, so social media is a big component of uh, network marketing. You will learn how to use social media to increase your business, but you don't need to know everything there is to know about social media today. So although business development and sales acumen and social media skills um, are not required for you to be successful, here is what is required. Um, and that is commitment and hard work. Uh, you can't join a network marketing company and then sit back in your office and wait for the orders to come in. It is going to take you getting out there, getting your name known, um, providing information about your product that's compelling enough for people to buy it to grow your business. The other skill that is required is you need to be someone that is coachable. There are lots of people who want to tell you lots of things and teach you lots of skills, 
Uh, you need to have an open mind and learn those skills, not only from people inside your network marketing company, but please find mentors and coaches from outside of your company as well. Perhaps you have some friends and family members that are in sales in completely unrelated industries. Those are fantastic people to tap into, tap into their knowledge. Uh, or perhaps you know some entrepreneurs that have started companies, again, completely outside of the realm of skincare. But you want to talk to those entrepreneurs and talk about the challenges and successes they saw in their early days and learn from them. Um, it might not be your company, but there's going to be so much value in people who have paved the way before you, not only in your industry, but also in industries outside of your particular company. There also isn't a lot of money required to start your own business uh, with a network marketing company. Most companies nowadays do have a startup fee, but they tend to be nominal. Um, I think the highest I've maybe seen is about two or three thousand dollars, which can be a, a huge chunk of money for you. Um, so you might want to look at companies that only require up to five hundred or a thousand dollars to get started, and that money is really invested in some of the products you're about to sell or use, as well as some marketing materials that'll get you off the ground faster. Uh, so it is a, a sound investment. You are actually getting, again, a product or service in return for your investment fee, and they want you to use that product or service to start growing your business and start seeing some revenue right away. Another skill you do need to thrive in this uh, type of business is flexibility. Uh, I know you all joined or want to join because it's a flexible schedule, but it also goes the other way. You need to be flexible to your customer's needs if you want to build your business and grow your team. You need to be available for your team members if they need someone to lean on um, when they're in a crisis situation. Uh, so being flexible um, with your time is, is important for, for your business and for your team's business as well. And I think it goes without saying, you need to be okay with rejection. You're going to see a lot of rejection trying to sell your uh, products or trying to recruit team members uh, into your organization. Um, it's all salespeople have to deal with rejection. Keep in mind, rejection is not personal. Please don't take it as a personal attack on you. Uh, when someone says no, it's usually a no to your product or your service. Um, and sometimes it's a no for right now, but perhaps not a no in the future. Please don't try to take it personally. And it's going to be tough, especially in the beginning if you've never done sales before. Um, but rejection is part of the process and it will grow you. Um, it's probably not the way you want to grow, but it will grow you and you will be a better person for being able to handle that rejection um, uh, with pride, uh, with dignity, and able to move on to the next sale very quickly will help you grow your business. If you're still wondering if this is the right product for you to invest your business in, uh, try doing a SWOT analysis, analysis on the company and the product itself. Uh, so SWOT again is uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And what you want to do is just diarize all the strengths of that product. Also take a look at the things that are weak about your particular product. Um, perhaps there's holes in the product line um, or weak about the organization itself. Take a look at the opportunities that are ahead for both the company and for the product line. Then of course threats, these are things that are threatening the company or even threatening your particular business in your particular demographic area. Um, so once you have a SWOT in place, you're able to better measure out, okay, is this the right company for me? Is this the right product for me? Uh, the person that approached you about joining the company, you may want to pose a few questions in return to them. Uh, so number one, ask them, why do you want me to join this company? Um, there's obviously a reason they saw something in you or maybe they are just dialing for dollars and trying to find as many people as possible. Um, but challenge them with that question. Why do you want me to join your company? Question number two you should ask your friend or family member with the company is how hard they actually want you to work. They might be trying to staff their team with full-time team members and you are only interested in a part-time commitment. Make sure that your commitments line up um, or else you're going to see conflict down the line. Question number three, ask them how much time they can give you in the training and development process. 
especially if business development is um, something relatively new to you, you're going to need a lot of coaching and mentoring. And you want to make sure that that person is around when you need them or your business may not start growing right away. Um, so see how much time they have for you, maybe even see how large their team is and how many other people they are trying to manage uh, to make sure that you're getting the resources you need to be successful. So I hope you found these questions and tips to be helpful in uh, helping you determine if a network marketing company is the right fit for you. There are other resources out there, unbiased resources that will help you make some decisions. A couple books that I've read, this one here, Retire Your Husband. Uh, it's a great book, it's an easy read. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more meat and potatoes, this might not be the best resource, but this is a good one to get started. Uh, but then jump into this one, the, uh, the Everything Guide to Network Marketing by Esther Spina. It's a fantastic read. You can find links to this book uh, through the blog post uh, at productivitypantry.com. Um, this is a great book um, if you're looking to, to make some decisions about whether or not to join. Again, I wish you the best as you go through this decision-making process. Uh, if network marketing is the right fit for you, you're going to find value in some of my future resources for people in network marketing companies. Um, and if you decide it's not the right fit for you, then I think you've made the right decision. Um, this isn't for everybody. Um, and there's a lot of other great business development opportunities out there that it doesn't have to be with a network marketing company. Uh, I wish you the best on your journey and uh, excited to hear um, which way you go. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for uh, more informative videos, not only on network marketing, uh, but also on resources that will help you maximize your day, your career, and your life.